Welcome to this video. Here I am going to define what is ENC. Well, ENC stands for electronic navigation chart. And basically these are official vector charts. Which means that these charts have to comply IHO standards. IHO means International Hydrographic Organizations. And ENCs are issued on the authority of government hydrographic office or any other government organization now let's have a look this is uh, how an enc appears on the screen so the best way to define enc is to look up imo's performance standards and according to IMO's performance standards, the ENCs are the charts having a standard database. And this database is related to content, structure and format. The next point that ENCs have to be used with the EGDIS only. Well, they are issued by or on the authority of Government Hydrographic Office and they have to comply IHO standards. ENCs must contain necessary information for safe navigation. There will be some additional information, for example, sailing directions, which can be superimposed on ENCs. Now, let's talk about SENC, SANC. SANC stands for System Electronic Navigational Chart. Well, this is up-to-date working database which is computed and stored internally. Now look at this. The SANC can be considered like engine and where the fuel is ENC. So ENC is fuel and SANC is engine. So, in order to define SANC properly, let's have a look on the IMO's performance standards. Well, SANC is the database in the internal EGDIS format. And this results in a lossless transformation of entire NC and their updates. The SANC is accessed by the EGDIS for display generation and navigation function. Well, we can say that the SANC are equivalent to up-to-date paper chart. And there can be the possibility of additional information from other sources in the SANC. 